hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is serena ww and if you're seeing this face for the first time thank you so much for stopping that and welcome i am a youtuber based in nigeria my content is about productivity lifestyle and lore and in today's video we are going to be doing a book review for one of the books i read in the month of march although it may be uploaded this video will be uploaded in the month of april so now let's get into it yeah and please and please if you know you're an old subscriber i did not forget you thank you so much for coming back to my videos i really appreciate so you know what those youtubers tell you to do please like this video comment down below and subscribe and share with people that are interested in this kind of content okay so now we're going to be going into the number of pages that this book is this book is 197 pages yeah 197 pages alongside with the preliminary pages the main content of this book is actually in 12 chapters and there is um some preliminary pages which made it 197 pages so now let's get into good morning holy spirit by benny him are you ready let's go so we are going into the first angle of this book and it talked about how he experienced the holy spirit and the first angle of this book is can i really know you and that was where he shared this experience of how he actually fell under the anointing with the holy spirit he shared so many things the fact that he fellowship how many hours he spent with the holy spirit on this can i really know you and when he finally discovered it he couldn't keep it to himself he had to share so then he now talked about from jaffa to the ends of the earth that was when he started his own um movement because he was born in israel and uh, i think jaffa is a place in israel so as a result of that he ex because of the experience he had with the holy spirit he had to move out from his town and go to the ends of the earth just to preach the gospel because like when he encountered the holy spirit like something in him started burning to share the word burning to preach the gospel to a lot of people a sense of belonging a sense of getting up and going anointing even in his car and he was just wondering okay so there's a part of this book i want to just read out to you guys in this part two of um the earth where he talked about from I we talked about the part where he said I bargained with God and he said by that time we were all anxious to leave but I got down on my knees on that rock of Jerusalem and made a vow to God and said Lord I pray if you get me out I will give you the biggest jar of oil I can find and added where and added where when we get to Toronto I will give you a church and present to you as a thanksgiving so that was like the bargain he made with god and when by the time he got to, that was when he got to the end of the ends of the earth so by the time he was able to escape from that trial god was actually able to save him and he was able to do what he promised to god and he just talks about the fact that he had different encounters with angels and all of that so now let's get into the third angle of this book which is tradition 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 so he talked about when he walked into his room and he magnetized, magnetized. And, like he drawn out he drew out his big bible and it was the only bible in the home and his mom and dad did not have anyone and he had no idea where the bible came from but he remembered that it was his own and the pages had been very and the pages of the the bible has turned since are here the period of the bible has turned since he arrived in canada but now i pray lord you have you show me what has happened to me today like he got to his house he saw a bible he brought out this bible because he knows obviously the bible does not belong to his parents and he just prayed that lord show me what happened to me today and he opened the scripture and he began to devour it like a starving man who was giving a loaf of bread like that was the way he described it and the holy spirit became his teacher so it's just it's just to tell it goes to tell you that the holy spirit can actually be your teacher whatever challenge you are facing whatever difficulty you are facing the holy spirit can actually be your teacher so you shouldn't feel like oh i this challenge is insurmountable nothing can help me and he began reading the gospel and he found 
himself he found jesus coming to his heart he was like please lord jesus come into my heart because from the scriptures from the gospels that he was reading he found jesus and in the scriptures he saw the plan of salvation unfolding for him so now let's get to the fourth angle of this book it talks about um why are you weeping freedom from every form of fear chapter 12 chapter talks 12. about heaven on earth building a relationship with god so if you know that this video has blessed you so much please leave it in the comment section if you know that you will be reading this book please leave it in the comment section as well so thank you so much for watching if you stayed up to this time thank you so much please like this video share with your friends and subscribe i remain staring at wwc we'll see you next time bye